Jackson here at Song Mentor. Well, today's song is a beauty from CCR. It's Have You Ever Seen the Rain from the Pendulum LP. And there's some speculation that this song was about the Vietnam War, but uh, John Fogarty has said himself that the song is more about um, the decline and, and, the, and the sort of the breakdown a little bit of CCR as a band and the imminent departure of his brother Tom Fogarty from the band. Uh, whichever explanation you choose to go with, this is a wonderful classic uh, soft rock tune. Here's CCR, Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Alright, let's start with the chords. Um, it's a four chord song, but the fourth chord only appears at the beginning of the song, and that's an open A minor. Then we need an F major. And I play my F major basically like the bar chord, but, but I remove the bar all the way across all the strings and just put it across the first three, actually. For comfort. Then you need an open C major. And finally, you need an open G major. And again, I've said this before, but I use the, the two, three, four finger formation for the G just because the switch from the C to the G is so effortless. Okay, those are the four chords you need. All right, let's tackle the main strumming pattern for Have You Seen the Rain? And it basically consists of a strum and then up, down, up, strum, up, down, up. Some of those um, down strums are muted. And if you listen to the song, the muted strums down actually occur in the same spot as the snare drum uh, in the song. So whenever you hear... When you're hearing that, it's, it's, it's in conjunction with the, the crack of the snare drum in the song. So that can help you figure out that strumming a little bit. And the way to mute those strokes is as I'm strumming down, I also land the heel of my hand across the strings. So it ends up like that. Ends up muted. Um, the first, every time you change to a new chord, the first chord is sounded. So... I remember long ago You know, I sounded that G chord when I switched to it. So again, it's down. That's the simplified strumming for Have You Seen the Rain. Okay, let's tackle that intro. And it starts out with a couple of downstrokes on the A minor chord, and then into the strumming pattern. And then the first of two piano lines, they're actually played on piano in the CCR song, but we're going to simulate them. Uh, by picking them out here. And the first one goes like this. Okay. So that's an open A, a G note, two open E's, back to the G, and then the C chord. And then right into the next one, which is... So it's C, C, B, A, G, G, C. So the first one is, and the second one, okay, so let's put that all together. Before we do a full playthrough, let's uh, let's tackle that chorus. And I have seen some chord charts on the internet 
that um, and, and you can play it this way and I'll show it to you very very quickly uh, where the chord pattern is as follows I want to know have you ever seen the rain I want to know have you ever seen the rain okay so what they're doing there C, E minor, A minor, G, F, I want to know, G, have you seen E minor, A minor, G, F. However, well, that's not the way the song was done. Um, the way the song was done was for uh, the rhythm guitar to strum through a C chord all the way through those changes. So he stays in the C chord rather than go from C to E minor to A minor to G, stays in C and the bass guitar picks down that progression. So from C I'll just kind of slow that down and open it up for you so you can see what I'm doing here. And that wraps up uh, how to play through the chorus. I'm going to give you two choices there. Chord, full chord changes. Or the uh, emphasizing the bass line with your lead note. You pick which one's more comfortable for you, and then you're equipped to play the chorus now. So we're ready for a playthrough.
I'd say the two fine-tuning words for today are uh, timing and choice. And there is the timing of those um, those little piano riffs because they're a little bit different. The first one, uh, and the second one, and they're just a little bit different, a little bit funny. So work on the timing of those. Uh, get them into the song so that they come in kind of seamlessly. And then the other thing, of course, is the choice in the chorus, whether to do the chording. Or. Personally, I prefer the, the second method. Uh, it takes a little more practice because you gotta, you got to hit the notes right on. I think it makes for a better song. So there you go, CCR, John Fogarty. Have you ever seen the rain? We'll see you next time on Songman.